Dirty Girl here with another vintage haul. Uh, this is stuff from my mother-in-law who is downsizing. Oops, let me show you that. Such a cool thing. Um, basically, my two sister-in-laws just started cleaning out closets and drawers and throwing stuff in boxes and saying, Karen will take that. Um, so this is just a bunch. I, I, most of it or a lot of it I'm going to donate because I really don't know what to do with it. Um, but I'm going to show you this stuff anyway. That's a bag of jewelry. The jewelry is not really all that exciting this time. So, um, But anyway, let me uh, turn the camera around and I will show you stuff. Okay, here I am and uh, I'm just going to show you these things pretty quickly. Because a lot of them I just, I haven't looked up much of this and I don't really uh, know exactly what they are other than this is a carved horn of some kind and I don't know where it's from but it's kind of cool and this is an egg with a Madonna inside I guess it's meant to look sort of like a, a Russian egg it doesn't have any markings on it I don't know what it is it's ceramic Then I have a fish bowl, and this says Ceramica de Cuernavaca. So that's kind of cool. At least I know what it is. Looks very mid-century. That big fat fish. Fish were seem to be really popular in the mid-century era. And let's see. Um, oops. Quail collector plate. I probably will be donating that. It is California Quail from the American Quail Heritage Plate Collection. Number 133. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I, don't, I doubt that it's valuable. And then we have this carved uh, half of a gourd bowl. Uh, I guess it's pyrography, burnt art. Very pretty. Uh, these They made these somewhere in South America, I think. I have some Victorian examples of this, but I don't think this one's very old. But it's neat. And this I love. It's a Mexican redware plate with birds on it. It's a very nice one. Um, probably it just looks pretty old from the back. So that I will be selling. This uh, looks like it's Japanese, just a tall vase. Got a little bit of mother of pearl. I guess it's kind of abalone shell there. Um, painted, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Nah, I don't know about that. This, I don't know too much about either. It's a blue glass basket. And it's pretty neat, except that unfortunately it's just got a lot of wear right around the bottom. And I think that probably is going to ruin any value that it has. It's got, that's what the bottom looks like. Any glass hounds out there? Let's see if I can figure out what this is. And this is a vase in the shape of a, thank you, in the shape of a turtle. It's really cute. Um, this looks like, uh, yeah, this is California pottery of some kind. Um, so yeah, that's a very mid-century piece, and I'll, I'll sell that. And this is a Satsuma pottery. It looks like an older piece. Uh, unfortunately, it's got some damage to the inside there, but, uh, but it's a very nice piece. Otherwise, and when it's closed, you can't see the damage, so um, we'll have to see, have to see what that might be worth. Oops, sorry. Some more California pottery. This is, uh, no, that's right. This is a, a nice planter. Sorry. And this is another vase in the shape of a swan. Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure these are all California pottery. Like dating from the 1930s to the 1950s, but I don't really know too much about it. It's another Japanese vase. Oh, this one's actually, oh, this is Odagiri. Odagiri is a, I know the coffee mugs, the Odagiri coffee mugs sell. Got something. Something on it, but I think it'll come off. So uh, that's worth looking into, I guess. Oh, I guess maybe I should show you the jewelry real quick. Real quick, I forgot, but I usually do that first. Um, it's uh, it's not that exciting. We have a puka shell necklace, and uh, this is very cute. It's a uh, oh, but it's just an earring. It's a frog earring. I thought it was a brooch. I wonder if the mate's in here. I do not see the mate. Oh, that's not, oh wait, wait, no, here he is. Oh, good. Okay, so I have two frog earrings. Those are, those are adorable. All right, uh, let's see. Just dump all this out. These are some, like, Stacked wood earrings. They're very pretty. Nice um, copper and brass and probably a little bit of sterling silver mixed metal earrings. Don't know quite what that is. Oh, I guess they're earrings. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> they go in like, like that. Those are kind of interesting, aren't they? These are nice. See, someone paid six dollars for those. Here. Brass and dichroic. No, they're not dichroic, they're plastic. They're lucite, I think. Another pair. Ah! Sorry. Another pair of earrings. Pretty nice. These are, oops dangly things. That's a pretty color. Kind of a corally red color. Some of these, um, I really, I'm pretty much seeing most of this for the first time. Um, these are the, I think they're aluminum earrings. Interesting. Oh, this I did see. Um, this is a, um, Damascene necklace. It's very small. Does that fit me? Yeah, it fits me, but just barely. I have a choker. But that's pretty. That's a bracelet covered with straw. Kind of interesting. This is a necklace. It's made with Paper, flowers. Yeah. That's that's quite something. I don't know if I could wear that or not. And this some more kind of crazy. <laughs> these are necklaces. I believe that these are some that my sister-in-law made. They're very fun. They're very lightweight for how bulky they are. And this is a beaded necklace. It's a little bit tangled up. There we go. Nice multi-strand. Um, I don't know where that maybe came from Africa. It's really, the beads are very nice, glass beads. Another fun, chunky beaded necklace. That's a pretty focal bead. Tiny little bracelet. Um, these are some very nice uh, ceramic beads. 
I don't know quite where these came from, but they're very nice. Uh, Looks like they might be Asian. They have a barrel clasp on them. Um, so probably mid-century. I really like that one. That's one. That would be fun to keep. I think I could see myself wearing that. Oh, those are really interesting beads. It's got an old style uh, fish hook clasp, but I don't. I think this is one my sister-in-law made. She she often rescued uh, clasps from old pieces of jewelry that were broken. So some really nice ones. And like we have some coral. Is it real coral or is it fake? It feels awfully light. I think it may be fake. What a drat. What a shame. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, oh yeah, okay, it's made by Napier, so. But, hey, it looks pretty good for fake coral. Yeah. One more uh, beaded. Pretty. I'm going to warn that for Christmas. It's red and green. Um, it's a pair of crystal earrings in here. Those are kind of nice. And a tiny, tiny cross. <laughs> a very tiny cross. Uh, okay, moving along, that's all the jewelry. This says is it is a horn, no, something book taken from the original of St. Paul's School, Birmingham, England, used throughout the 17th and 18th centuries to teach children the alphabet. It's made out of brass. I guess it's meant to be a, uh, like a paperweight or something. I don't know. This is a, that's, um, Frida, uh, what's her name? Frida Kahlo? No, Frida, you know, the artist, Frida. Um, I'm guessing this, it is hand painted, no it's not, it's a reproduction, it's a lithograph. Um, but the little shrine is original and it says, Viva Mexico, Mexico, Lucy H. Pintado a Mano, which means painted by hand. Kind of an interesting piece. Oh dear. And this, I think is adorable. This is a vase that's in the shape, sort of, of a bird. There's his little face. And then you put the flowers in here and they make the tail. <laughs> Looks kind of 1970s, maybe. This is a nice old pair of binoculars. Um, cobwebs in them. I um, haven't checked to see if they're working or how old they are, but I imagine they are. Um, I've sold a lot of binoculars. And then I got a whole bunch of these, with these um, carved African uh, Maasai, maybe, warriors. This one, his little uh, beads are broken, so i got to be careful with that. But I have several of those, and then I have this which I think comes from Papua New Guinea because I sold, recently I sold a fish that was in this carving style. So that is my guess for this. Uh, it's just, it's not a vase, it's hollow at both ends. And I frankly don't know what it is. Maybe that's what it is. Um, anyway, it's cool. Uh, this is adorable can see this. But these are place card holders in the shape of little silver teapots. And then they 
sit on this tray. There's only six of them. So if you're having a dinner party for more than six people, too bad, so sad. But that is how they work. And um, they're very, very heavy. They're not marked in any way, but they kind of look like they might be sterling silver. So I don't know. I haven't tested them or anything. I have this giant glass pitcher thing. Uh, doesn't appear to have any marks or anything on it. Don't know about that. This up here. Um, this, oh, it's kind of a little bit sad to see this because I've seen this and admired it in my mother-in-law's living room for since I've known her. But um, I guess she decided to part with it. It's a, a really fantastic carving. It's African, of course. Um, I don't know anything about it other than it's pretty amazing. Vase. Don't know anything about it. Um, this is marked green. G-R-U-E-N-E, -E, and I know that's a known pottery, but I can't quite remember anything about it right now. It's a giant cup. I don't know. Uh, we have another African, African, sorry, Asian. Uh, this is an Asian carving of a water buffalo with two people on it. Uh, it unfortunately, has this giant crack in it. Um... Yeah, I might, I wonder if I could repair that. I wonder if it would be better to repair it or just to leave it. It's pretty horrid. Oh, and he's missing, he's got a broken horn too. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid he's kind of sad. <sighs> too bad, so sad. Um, I can show you this without breaking it. <laughs> For a change of pace. Uh, opalescent hobnail epern. Um, I don't know too much about glass, about this kind of glass. Uh, maybe Fenton is the first thing I think of. Uh, sorry. Oh, I'm sitting on my feet and it's not a good thing. Ah. Okay. We're, we're, we're making headway. Uh, another opalescent hobnail piece, not marked. Looks like Fenton. Don't know. Um, got a couple of A.A. Uh, a. Milne books from the 1950s. Uh, I saw these and I had a, like, I was like, oh my God. I had these books when I was little, this, these editions with these kind of covers on it. But we've got When We Were Very Young and Now We Are Six. And uh, I don't have any idea if those are worth anything. Uh, here's another... California Pottery Vase. No marks on that one. Pretty. And then I have just a whole bunch of textiles and clothing. And that's, uh, that is what the rest of the haul is, pretty much. So, so if clothing and textiles bore you, you can tune out. You can check out my shop, VintageDazzle.etsy.com, where I am listing this stuff. So mostly, a few things might be on eBay. I have links below if you're interested. Uh, this seems to be a silk kimono with uh, birds on it. This is a vest pretty large, might be a man's vest, uh, with some pretty fancy embroidery on it. Um, this is going to be Mexico, Central, or South America. I don't know which, but it is beautiful embroidery. This, likewise, This looks like, uh, this looks like Guatemala, maybe. Very pretty. Uh, let's see, here we have a Hawaiian shirt, a 
for the vintage one. Waikiki Wear by Duke of Hollywood, 100% cotton. Mercerized, sanferized. 1616. Almost small enough for me. It's not very big. Uh, cool, though. Um, okay, here we have a cute tablecloth. With this embroidery or applique on it and embroidery and it does have a whole bunch of napkins that go with it. I saw one of the napkins was badly stained but um, overall it doesn't look too bad.